It's been a while since the last time we talked about flight controllers. So today let's talk not about one, not about two, but about three new designs. But first, coffee. Ah, the coffee. So, let's go. Let's begin with this thing, which is called the Matek F405 WNM. By the way, the WNM stands for Wing New Model. And comparing to the previous generations of the Matek small flight controller, it solves most probably the biggest problem of them. It's no longer based on the F411. Instead, it has the full-blown STM F405 on board. And thanks to that and the fact that the USB-C connector is like on the bigger Matex flight controller, a separate board now, Matex was able to put quite a lot of the functionalities in here. We have barometer, we have OSD, we have 16 megabits flash memory for your flight black box locks, 5 serial ports, 3 analog to digital converter, 12, yes exactly, 12 PWM outputs so you can connect a lot of stuff to this thing, to pin IO ports and accepts up to 6S LiPos. That's quite a lot of functions for the flight controller that is only 31 by 26 millimeters. Of course, like all Matek boards designed for the fixed wing pilots, it is a sandwich design with two PCBs. Both parts are connected with a single connector. The bottom one has all the power distribution board and the voltage stabilization, while the top one has flash, OSD, gyro and of course the MCU itself. As a result you have a small and powerful board that none of the Matek competition has. They do not have anything comparable. They might have something bigger but nothing that really packs so much functions in a so small form factor. The new board is supported by INAF and the Ardu pilot so you just can install it on any small airplane and fly or all day long. By the way, do me a favor, hit the like button and write in the comments on what you think about those flight controllers. Thanks, it means a lot and it helps to grow the channel. The second flight controller I want to show you is the new SpeedyB F722 V3 stack. If you ask me, this is probably the best multi-rotor oriented flight controller stack right now on the market. First, the flight controller. In this one, 36 by 36 millimeter board you get a lot of features you get the f722 mcu you get half the gigabit yes exactly half of the gigabit of the flash memory you can use for your black box locks eight motor outputs five serial ports and like almost everything from the speedb you get the bluetooth module that works perfectly with the speedb app on the flying field configuration with your smartphone SpeedyB app is right now absolutely not a single problem. And you have to say that this looks nice. Nice quality PCB, nice placement, four motors, on the wire for additional motors as the soldering pads and you will build almost any kind of the multi-rotor drone with this flight controller, no problem. And on top of that, in one box you also get the 50 amp BL Heli 32 ESC with this nice little protector and the heatsink attached to the MOSFETs. So both the heat dissipation and the MOSFET protection problems should be solved just like that. As a result, you get something that delivers a lot of functionality and a lot of quality in the single package. Let's be honest, you would fly that, don't you? And finally, we come to this thing. It's the iFlight Blitz F7 Pro. When I got the flight controller, I had no idea that this is a flight controller and after opening from the box, I was well assuming that this is some kind of the VTX. Why? All the electronics from the top and from the bottom is shielded, both here and here 
we have the grounded cage that blocks both RF emission from going out of the flight controller as well as coming into the flight controller and all the sensitive sensors. Some might ask the question, okay, but why? And the answer is actually quite simple, because if you fly multi-thousand dollar cine lifter with super expensive cinematic camera on board, you do want to take all the possible precaution that your drone will not fall from the sky, ultimately destroying itself and the cinematic camera. No, 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 we don't really want that. And the extra shielding helps to achieve that. Not by much, personally I think it's an overkill, but it's a nice touch that differentiates this flight controllers from every single other one on the market. Besides the shielding and the fact that this is a full plug and play, you do not solder anything to these boards, is a pretty standard F7 board. Eight motor outputs, barometer, four cellular ports, integrated OSD, I2C and 512 megabits of the flash memory on board. And that's that. I think we all have to agree that the new SpeedyB and the Matex board indeed look very interesting. Especially the Matex board, because it fixes the biggest problem of the F411 Wing series. It finally has enough serial ports for everything. And now, here's the video you should watch next. In the meantime, I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying!